Tonight from Milwaukee, Republicans at this convention were fired up tonight after four days of speeches. Former President Donald Trump speaking for more than an hour to close things out. Now, that speech was Trump's first since last weekend's assassination attempt. Now, he spoke of unity after that attempt on his life, telling the crowd that we rise together or fall apart. Our resolve is unbroken and our purpose is unchanged to deliver a government that serves the American people better than ever before. Nothing will stop me in this mission because our vision is righteous and our cause is pure. ABC 7 political reporter Craig Wall joining us live tonight from inside the Pfizer Forum. Craig, it was a big night for the former President Donald Trump. It certainly was a big night, and as you can see, he is still up on stage stoking it in. You know, this was Donald Trump's moment to shine, but he delivered a speech that had a very different tone than many other previous Trump rallies. Tonight, he called for an end to the divisiveness that currently dominates the political climate, and he offered a promise of better days ahead. Donald Trump taking the stage tonight to a deafening chorus of cheers from delighted delegates who packed the convention hall to the rafters. Trump delivering a rewritten speech with a very different tone. I stand before you this evening with a message of confidence, strength, and hope. Four months from now, we will have an incredible victory. When the former president began speaking about the attempt on his life, the crowd went silent, Trump speaking softly as he recounted the moment. I heard a loud whizzing sound and felt something hit me really, really hard on my right ear. I said to myself, wow, what was that? It can only be a bullet. Members of the Illinois delegation brought to tears as they listened. I stand before you in this arena only by the grace of Almighty God. The crowd applauding as Trump noted the helmet and gear of the firefighter who was killed in the shooting. Trump saying he is now more determined than ever. Earlier, former First Lady Melania Trump getting her own ovation when she joined the family in their VIP box. Trump told so delegates tonight, America is a nation in decline. He promised to fix inflation, end illegal immigration by securing the southern border, and end the international crises that he blamed on the current administration. Trump making an appeal to voters across the country. So tonight, whether you've supported me in the past or not, I hope you will support me in the future because I will bring back the American dream. That's what we're going to do. Trump staying away from the harsh attacks of past speeches, keeping his tones mostly measured. He ended his speech offering a promise of hope. No matter what dangers come our way, no matter what obstacles lie in our path, we will keep striving toward our shared and glorious destiny, and we will not fail. We will not fail. That speech lasted more than 90 minutes tonight, and although we were told that Donald Trump was not going to mention President Biden at all, he did, but only twice. And though Trump's tone was very much more subdued than previous rallies, he did talk about many of the same points that he always makes in his speeches. Cheryl? Craig, what was your sense of the overall tone of Trump's speech tonight? Of course, a portion dedicated to him talking about his assassination attempt. Yeah, well, first of all, I think a lot of people talked about the need for him to come across as presidential, and I sense that he was really trying to make a, a real attempt to do so. You know, when he initially started talking about the assassination attempt, he went on for 15 minutes and returned to it a couple other times. We are told tonight that this was the longest telev televised nomination acceptance speech in history. But tonight, it's still going on. They're still partying on stage, and the parties will continue for a long time into the night. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.